What's up guys? Today we're going to be changing the oil in a Kawasaki Ninja 400. Here's everything we're going to need. I have my oil, oil filter, an oil filter wrench, a wrench for the oil drain plug as well as a torque wrench, something to catch the oil in, and some paper towels or rags. Also uh, not pictured but you will need is of course a funnel. So the first thing we're going to do is start the bike up and get it up to operating temperature. And while that's heating up, uh, if you have OEM fairings, you're going to want to go to the clutch lever side of the bike and take off the belly cowling. And I will post in the upper right hand corner an excerpt from the service manual that shows the instructions on how to do that. And it's basically just taking off three screws and a plastic rivet. And then you'll want to take off the oil fill cap and then go back to that other side where you remove the cowling and take off the oil drain bolt. This is an 18 millimeter socket. And what I do is I unscrew it here by hand while pushing the wrench towards the bolt still uh, just to hold the oil in and then I pull it away all at once. Uh, this makes uh, much less of a mess. Also make sure you have that oil pan kind of scooted towards you more because it does shoot kind of far from the bike so just be cognizant of that and it's only about two quarts so it drains pretty quickly and what we'll do is when it finally gets to where it's just lightly dripping we'll go ahead and move the oil catch over underneath the oil filter as well as under the oil drain bolt and we'll start working on the oil filter. Now I found these pliers to work the best for these oil filters. They're just simple pliers. You can get them on Amazon. They're not expensive. Just make sure you're unscrewing it and not tightening it. So counterclockwise. And I'll start it with the wrench and then I will finish it by hand. And I'm also uh, pushing towards the motor as well with this just to kind of drain it uh, without having a big gush of the oil coming out. As you can see, there's none around the oil pan, so I made it all in, into that pan. Now after that's all done, we can go ahead and put our oil drain bolt back on with a new crush washer. And then I'll tie it down with my regular wrench and then... I will torque it to 30 newton meters or 22 foot pounds, whichever way you want to use. And then after that's done, I'll move on to the oil filter. We'll take it out of the box and then I'm also going to get my new oil as well uh, because I'm going to dip my finger in it and actually put some on this, uh, the o-ring on the oil filter. And what that does is not only does it lubricate it, but it, it gives it a better seal as well. And then we'll go ahead and screw that back on. And what I do here is I just uh, get it as tight as I can by hand. And then I put a, some very small turns on with the wrench because I believe uh, the tightening for this is like 20, 12 foot pounds, which is just a little bit more. I don't know. There may be some strong people that can do it, but... I find that this has worked great. I've done about 15 of these oil changes on this particular bike and I've never had a leak. So now we can move back over to the other side and start filling it. I did speed up the video here just because I'm taking that, uh, taking it off to the side and looking at the level of it. It's exactly, there's two oil changes in that jug. So I go to the exact halfway point and that usually works out for me. So I'll put the cap back on and start the bike back up and let it run for a couple minutes and look for leaks. And then I'll also kind of clean up, you know, where any of the oil may have uh, drizzled over or whatever. And then after the bike's been off for a couple minutes, uh, you do have to let it, all the oil settle back down into the pan, but it should be in between the two marks there. 
and then you're good to go. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching.